Hi everyone, in this video, I'll walk you through on how you can configure your consent setup using CookieBot and Google Tag Manager. I'll also show you how you can QA or test the consent setup to make sure that your website tracking setup is 100% tracking compliant. So let's get started. There are two kinds of consent banners that you can find on nearly any website. So the first one is informative, which basically tells the user that they are being tracked and they can't actually opt out from tracking. The second one is informing users that they are being tracked and they have the option to opt out from tracking. And in other cases, the opposite. So in the other cases, the banner informs the user that this website uses cookies or that website wants to track them as a user and they can accept that. And if they don't, the website will not track them unless they accept that button or that banner. Now you might have a question. Do I need to implement a consent banner on my website? The answer is not pretty straightforward. It's based on where you're targeting the users. So for example, if your website is targeting people who are based in Europe, you'll need to implement it as there is a law called GDPR. You should consult your legal team and do your own research as this also varies based on your business type. Also the CMP, or the consent management platform, like in our scenario in this video, we're talking about CookieBot. So CookieBot can help you with that as well. I have signed for a free CookieBot account to go over the banner settings with you. So let's start with reviewing the configuration menu. In this menu, you can change the banner design and details, like the layout, design, adding your logo, compliance, you can set the banner behavior to be explicit or implied. Now let's head to the content tab. From the content tab, you can change any text that is shown inside the banner or leave it as is. You can also click on the legalization preset button and CookieBot will automatically change the banner behavior to match a specific region low. Now let's head to the implementation section. When you arrive to the implementation section over here, scroll down and copy this domain group ID as we'll need it later. Now let's set up the banner through Google Tag Manager. Open your Google Tag Manager container and head to templates over here. Then hit search gallery, type CookieBot in the search bar, select this template, add to workspace. Now head to Tags, select New, search for CookieBot or select it directly from the menu. Enter here the CookieBot domain ID that we have just copied from CookieBot dashboard. Make sure that this option is enabled. And lastly, we have the default consent stat. So hit add region over here. This is basically the default consent options that will be assigned to users upon entering the website before declining or rejecting the banner. The current selection means the user will not be tracked unless they accepted the banner as the consent values over here are set to denied. If you want to apply this, this condition based on a state, you can add the state ID over here. So for example, if we want to add a specific default consent status for you as visitors, you can type here US and leave this as denied because we want the US users to be not tracked by default. Then you can add another region over here. So if you want, to have a, a different default consent stats for the Canadian users, you can add the region, which is CA, 
and then let's say that we want to have everything granted we want to track users from canada by default unless they opt out from the consent banner now we have different default consent status based on the user location before testing out the setup let's talk about the google consent mode feature and the consent categories that are visible under the default consent state so on the website the banner will most probably show a decline or accept option to the user and that's it for the user but from our end the user selection is broken down into different categories and they are visible over here like marketing at storage and marketing at personalization and marketing at user data if the user accepts the banner these categories will show granted or accepted and the opposite if these categories or the banner is denied these categories would be showing as denied now let's go back to the triggering section and use the proper trigger so for our consent banner we will be using the consent initialization trigger name the consent banner and hit save now i'll be moving to my other google tag manager container that i have installed on my website and i have the same tag created over here with the same cookie bot id and the same settings so let's preview this container As you can see, when visiting the website, we see the banner and we can accept or reject that banner. But that doesn't mean that the consent setup is working as expected, as we need to check the consent banner behavior. Let's head back to the GTM preview mode. And let's select this consent default data layer event. When we expand the consent default data layer event, we would see something similar to what we have inside the banner tag. So we have all of the consent categories and we have the stats. So we have all the categories set to denied, which matches what we have selected in the tag, except for the security storage as it would be always granted. If you also clicked on this consent tab over here, you would see the on-page default for all categories is denied, except for the security storage. And seeing the consent values populating inside the consent tab over here is the most important thing it doesn't matter if we have data layer pushes with the consent values as we need to make sure that these values are being pushed and are being used inside google tag manager and the only method on how to do that is checking to see if they are reflected in this section or not now let's try interacting with the website banner and let's select allow all once we click on the allow all button over here so this is the click where we have clicked on the allow all and as you can see there is also a current state column that is visible now and it is showing us that this is still denied since we haven't yet accepted the banner now let's check the consent update you can see now that the on page update is granted which makes a total sense since we have just accepted that banner and additionally there is some consent pushes from cookiebot but we don't need to go through them or use them in any way for now you might be thinking okay this is great but how this is beneficial for our website or how can we edit the tags or the pixels to make it listen to the user's consent selection head back to the gtm container Open any tag that you'd like. For me, I'll select to edit the Facebook tag. Scroll down to the end of the tag, and then you will find the consent settings over here. By default, this would be set to not set. This means that this tag is not listening to the user consent selection. To make this tag compliant and to make this tag respects the user consent option, head to the required additional consent for tag to fire, and then add the required consent categories for tags to fire. 
for my case, I'm using the add storage. If I hit the add required consent category, I can use an additional consent categories and they are identical to the ones we have in the preview mode and the ones we have inside the cookie bot tag template. You can select another one if you'd like and then hit save. You can apply the required consent categories for tag so far in a bulk way. You don't need to go through each and every tag to assign a specific consent option. So if you head to admin, container settings, you can enable this feature, hit save. Now head back to the tags section. You'll find a new icon populating over here. So click on it. Now type the tags or select the tags you'd like to have. So if you want to assign a specific consent categories for the Facebook tags to fire, you can select all of the Facebook tags and then click on this icon, require additional consent, and then select the consent categories you'd like, hit save. And that's it. We have these tags now assigned a new consent category. So if you clicked on any one of these, you can see them added over here. Now let's head up preview again. Let's head to the website. And now we have the banner icon over here. We can reopen it by clicking on it. And then let's select withdraw your consent. Go back to the preview mode. You can see that there is a consent default over here. And then consent update. And there is an update here after we have denied the banner or rejected the banner. So currently all the consent categories are set to deny. Let's now refresh the page and see if the Facebook tags will fire. So the current state of these tags, if we head to tags, we will find that the Facebook tag has fired on that page. But let's see what will happen if we refresh the page after rejecting the banner. When clicking on the container loaded trigger over here, we can see that we have several tags that has fired properly. But for the Facebook tags, it have the same trigger, but for this tag, it have an additional consent check. So if the trigger fires, but the consent check is not in place or the consent is not granted, this tag will not fire, which is the case for this tag. So that's why it hasn't fired for us. And that's it. You now know how to configure your consent setup using CookieBot and how to make sure that it's working as expected. If you'd like to use another tool than CookieBot, the process would be pretty much similar. You'll just need to use the proper tag template for the CMP that you want to use. If you have any questions regarding this video or any other consent providers, make sure to drop them in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you don't know me, my name is Ahmed and I share knowledge about web analytics on a weekly basis. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the follow button and like it so you can get notified whenever I post something. That's it. See you in the next video.